I took up a speed uh, course from the second year itself. And I realized that uh, pathology is a vast subject. So there is actually a lot to study. And if you're trying to make notes, which I would do from different books and all, it will take you a lot of time. And three years is not sufficient to make enough notes. So speed helped provide that direction for me like what is important and which areas we should put more focus on. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Uh, Devaditya Halder for yes. scoring rank 44 in DM Pathology Group in NEET SS 2024 session. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Great. Now, can we know your detailed background history from where you started till date, what all you have done? Sir, I actually uh, belong from Kolkata in West Bengal and I uh, did my MBBS from Medical College Kolkata in 2009, which I passed out in 2015. And from 2016 to 2022, I was actually working as a non-academic resident doctor in general, in general surgery in Apollo Clinical Hospitals, Kolkata. Okay. And every year I was giving the exam. Okay. And I was not getting a, a good, a decent rank because uh, I was not taking it seriously. But eventually I got through uh, in the 2021 to 2024 session, which was actually uh, delayed by a year because of the COVID backlog. So I completed my MD in pathology from Indira Gandhi Institute of Medical Sciences, Patna. And recently in February, and I got married on 25th February this year. Okay. Okay. And, and then, then I sat for the DM exam and I wasn't expecting a uh, rank of 44. I was, uh, the exam went well, so, but I thought my rank would be, uh, maybe more than 70 or so. So I'm happy with uh, the rank I got. So wonderful and a great achievement that you have done. And your, your interest is for DM Oncopathology, right? Yes, sir. So, so for DM Oncopathology, that what came in your mind where you want to do a super charity? Uh, sir, actually, uh, the decision to do DM Oncopathology came after uh, I joined my MD Pathology and especially in the second year of my residency. So uh, basically, uh, I was involved in a lot of academics and I really started loving the subject in the first year. And I felt that I want to pursue uh, academics more after completing my MD. And uh, I wanted to do a super specialization. Ideally, I wanted to do a DM. If not a DM, then probably a fellowship. And uh, the two of op the options that were there were oncopathology and hematopathology. I liked both, but uh, if I had to choose one, Maybe even that one percent extra preference I had towards oncopathology. Uncle. So, so yeah, so, great. So that is why in second year, yes, I decided that I would go towards oncopathology. So you decided to do an oncopathology. Then, from that yes. point of time, how you started, where you started, and what all you did to achieve today, what you are. Uh, sir, actually, I started. Uh, like preparing from day one itself of my residency. And uh, I did not have a target of uh, preparing for getting into DM or for cracking my MD final exam. Actually, I uh, started uh, get into the subject. I started to under uh, understand the different topics. So I would uh, read about the different topics uh, in depth, make my own notes just for my own understanding and my for my own knowledge. So that's what I uh, did in the first year. I saw a lot of slides. I got into the habit of seeing a lot of slides and reading up on it. So that happened in the first year. In second year, uh, that is when I started. I decided that I'm going to go into. Uh, I decided uh, I'm going. To, I wanted to move my DM in oncopathology. So uh, I took up a speed uh, course from the second year itself, and I realized that uh, pathology is a vast subject. So there is actually a lot to study. And if you're trying to make notes, which I would do from different books and all, it will take you a lot of time and three years is not sufficient to make enough notes. So speed helped provide that direction for me, like what is important and which areas you should put more focus on. So to my existing notes, I would add on to the speed notes. I would see a lot of uh, lectures, the video lectures, Dr. Kanyapan sir's uh, lectures helped me a lot. And sir, uh, I, I went on with my preparations from the second year itself. Uh, the final year, the last few months uh, were more devoted towards cracking my final uh, MD exam. So I think the best time to prepare was the second year and the first half of the final year. So that is how I went about it. Very good, doctor. Very good. Excellent. And uh, yes, number of questions you attempted in this exam? So I attempted 139 questions. Good. Now, what is the advice for the future aspirants of DM oncopathology? 
so my advice uh, to the future as aspirants would be to start from day one itself uh, don't think about completing your md and then uh, decide that uh, you want to uh, start preparing start your preparations from day one because that is the best time to prepare the earliest you start is the best time because during your residency years you are already into academics in, in the full fledged academics so uh, and so the best time to crack the exam is at your first go or maybe first or second attempt because the more number of years you start spending after your md uh, you get into residency and then uh, you're working more and you have to always balance your work and studies which becomes a little difficult at times so start preparing i i would say that first year uh, you start loving the subject if you love the subject then the subject will always reward you back so first year you start uh, loving the subject go through the slides uh read about the uh, different uh, aspects from the different books that are there uh go through robbins thoroughly and uh, consult reference reference books like ackerman or stonework whichever you prefer and also uh, the who uh, updates and uh, to that then in the second year you would have an idea whether you want to get into oncopathology or uh, hematopathology and take up speed course from the second year itself i would suggest because uh, that is the best time so uh, go through the videos regularly and uh, doesn't have to be an added thing like uh, the academics which we had we had actually a lot of academics uh, at our institute in igms patna so i'm very thankful that the environment there was very academic oriented uh, dr pipin kumar sir uh, our hod and the different professors dr anju singh ma'am dr richa singh ma'am so everyone helped and supported me a lot so that academic environment was always there so you should always try to be in that academic environment uh, make your own notes because that will help you revise uh, very easily and add on to the notes uh, from the uh, speed videos and do as many test series and as many questions uh, as possible because cracking mcqs is also an art which you will learn more and more as you solve mcqs the art of eliminating wrong options so that will come naturally to you the more you solve the uh, questions great doctor uh yes, time to thank and whom all you want to thank news is platform to thank the help you from day one till date <laughs> sir actually i would like to thank a lot of people my parents my wife who has always supported me and uh, over three years of residency she has i mean i was staying in patna she was in kolkata and but uh, even though it was a long distance relationship but uh, we never felt that we were so far apart so she has always supported me and uh, my professors uh, the dr pipin kumar sir my hod of our uh, institute dr anju singh ma'am dr richa singh ma'am dr kalpana ma'am and all the other professors uh, sir you helped a lot uh, this uh, app always motivating and the different professors dr kanyapan sir and the video lectures so you know everything worked and uh, gelled together to really uh, help me achieve what i had wonderful and great doctor i wish you once again you so all much. the very best and all the success for a very great career in the field of so dm oncopathology best thank wishes you so and you'll be doing amazingly well and great thank you so much sir